What's up everyone? Back again uh, for another video. Uh, last video you should have watched. Uh, if you didn't, go check it out. Uh, it was doing the, the clearances on the bearings for the connecting rods to the crankshaft. Um, I already started, because I wanted to just focus and do this and try not to mess up at all, but piston rings are gapped. Did that for the past like hour. Maybe a little bit longer just to get them like perfect. Um, now what I gotta do is put them on the pistons and then drop them into the, the engine. So let's get cracking on this. So at least this section of the build is done. All right, so we've got a slightly different angle this time. Um, I guess we'll start with cylinder six. Uh, the goal here is to uh, not break any of these rings. Uh, if I break one, we're uh, gonna have to order new ones and then that's gonna take a while, so let's try not to break any. So I got this guy on. Uh, I gotta go check the, um, hold on. I forgot how we gotta uh, set these gaps. I have it right here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. So I'm using the manly part as the front of the engine, so um, those are on. Got the gaps all set correctly. Um, got five more to do, and then it's time to then we'll clean up again in the the cylinders. Oil these boys up, get my piston ring insertion tool, and uh, send them in, so. All right, so since that first one was like practice. All right, so uh, way we're doing it, taking the little oil ring guy, throwing that in first, got that guy in, then take your little oil rings, corner in first, Bring it all the way around. Take your second one. Do the top guy. Basically the same way. Hold it in the corner. Pull it down. Make sure you're in all the way. Then second ring get the corner started same thing pull it all the way down that's in and your top ring you just want to make sure uh, they have marks you might not be able to see this um, second ring is marked top ring is marked Make sure you have it going up. You just have the same thing. Simple as that. Let me do a couple more and then we're almost ready to throw them in. All right. I think it's go time. So I've gotta, I'm gonna blow off the pistons once again. Um, Gonna oil the bore, maybe I'll put a little oil on the pistons also. Uh, I'm actually gonna look for some oil to throw on there. What we're gonna do first, I'm gonna flip this guy. Oh okay. god, flip over. And I wanna lube up with uh, the assembly lube. So let me get some gloves on. Got some oil for piston time. So I'm gonna lube these up. Then flip it back over and get them ready for, for throwing the pistons in. So, definitely gonna make a mess. Try to keep one hand clean and then use the other one for dirtiness, but we don't know how that works, so. It's 
send it in slowly, let's see. All right, I was trying to not get oil all over myself, but probably should have just put on another glove. Uh, I'm gonna send that one home, then I'll flip it over, throw the uh, things in, the, uh, the caps for that, and then we'll continue. So all six are in. I just gotta torque them all down. Then uh, we are 100%. So 60 on there, and then we are good. All right, so we got all six in, all torqued down. Boom. I got them all in, uh, wasn't. Let's put you down over here. Since that didn't take too much time, I think I might look into throwing the oil pump on. You got that right here. So, uh, let's check it out. Let's see how, uh, depth this is because uh, the oil pump needs to be on for um, for I guess everything else basically so oil pump is gonna go on I don't need that oil pump I'll throw on and then throw the rear main seal on uh, I have that I have the little like uh, housing thing I gotta change it out to the new rear main then I could look into putting the oil pickup tube in and the pan and then like this whole bottom end's done and then I can worry about the the water pump and all this other stuff. So let me uh, let me try to find the bolts to put this on and then we'll get cracking on it. So all the bolts, they're uh, all different sizes, but uh, like, like you got like this long ass one and then like this other not as long one and then a little small guy. They're kind of self-explanatory where they go, like this long one, it only fits there. And I mean, you'll figure it out if you, if you uh, weren't too sure. So got my gasket, found that. Just gotta find something to cut this open with, and then we're gonna throw it on. We got the extended collar on there. I think I spoke about that before. That's so you get full contact with uh, with this section in here. That's that's what drives your your oil pump. You don't want to lose oil pressure, so you can do an extended collar like the original one. Only hits like a little nub. Uh, if I can find my rig the other oil pump, I'll, I'll show you. All right, let's throw all these bolts in. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, uh, but you didn't put the oil pan on first. You don't. This, uh, you need this front lip section for the whole oil pan to seal. So I'm doing this one. Then we're gonna try the rear main. Um, that's gonna be fun finding that because it took me like five, took me like ten minutes to find the gasket for this thing. So uh, your guess is as good as mine. We're gonna have to look in the uh, the service manual to get the uh, torque specs for this, but I don't know if that's too important. But we're gonna look anyway. So I went to look it up, and it's like focus. There we go. So I went to look it up, and it's like. Bullshit newton meters, like really low, so I'm just gonna torque them down by hand. All right, let's uh, find the water pump. New water pump. Very weird looking. Um, I, don't, I don't even know what this looks like. What, is, what does this look like? Can't. Nothing. Nothing comes to mind at all. Um, this calls for gasket maker, RTV, so we're gonna RTV this up, then slap it on right here. So let's do that. Water pump is, the motor's upside down right now. Water pump's on, oil pump's on, rear main seal's on. Uh, the little assembly with a brand new rear main seal. Uh, we're gonna throw the uh, oil pickup and then we're gonna try to get this oil pan in. So, so then we're uh, basically done with the bottom end, which is pretty exciting. So now uh, all I wanna do is 
clean up some surfaces so the oil pump is pretty clean, the block is pretty clean, but the rear main seal needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, no get the old uh, RTV off and then I got to check out the oil pan. Um, there are a ton of bolts to go back. But if you check in the engine specifications, there's a certain order they want you to do that. So basically going to be RTVing the oil pan, um, then installing all these bolts. There's like a hundred of them in a certain order of crisscrossing and whatever, and then you're good. So let me clean this up. So I just got a... Uh, have a bunch of like random stuff on it. Um, put the water neck on, the motor mounts, and I think that's all the extra things I put on. I got to, uh, I'm gonna go get the oil pan. I cleaned it out because cleaning all the the old RTV off of it made a mess. So then I sprayed it out. And I wanted to let it dry. So that's been a it's been a couple hours that it's been drying. So I'm gonna go grab it, throw the RTV on it, throw it on, and then throw the shitload of these bolts on. They're 10 mils, by the way. I think I said 8 before. And the cover's on. You guys didn't need to watch me put uh, 30 little screws slash bolts in there, but that's on. I'm going to wait for tomorrow for this RTV to dry. See, it's all mushed out. I'm going to wait till tomorrow till it dries, so then I can just basically just take a razor blade and just slice it right along the edge, and it should come off nice and clean. Um, instead of me trying to wipe it off now and it just smudges all over the place so uh all right so like we knew we left off here pistons are all in pistons rod is basically the entire bottom end of this is done um oil pump water pump water neck motor mounts rear main seal uh oil pickup and oil pan looking really good I want to thank you guys for joining me on this one. Um, motor's coming along. We are getting there. Um, next thing I have to do, I got to do the valve springs on the head. So, um, yeah, I have a tool for that. I have a valve spring compressor for that. And then we got to switch out the valve springs. Then we could install the head, the cams, gears, timing belt, all that stuff. So, uh, once again, thanks for joining me. Uh, please follow along in the build, subscribe, and uh, see you guys in the next one.